Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kanchan Vag. Today I would like to cover run length encoding that is RLE. RLE is a form of lossless data compression in which runs of data, data sequence appears. Runs of data sequence means if one bit or one alphabet is appears too many times then it is called as runs, runs of data sequence. Now this is the most useful technique on data which contains many such runs. If a data is like a combination of runs of sequences, then on that data RLE technique is very much suitable. For example, simple graphic images such as icons, line drawing and RLE is a compression method used to compress that sequence of bits to make its fast transmission to the channel. Let us uh, consider uh, one example. Now in this example, it's, uh, it contains a run uh, runs of uh, W and B. It's a combination of W and B data. Now here as we can see, here seven up, uh, W appears 7 times, uh, B appears 4 times. Uh, and W again appears uh, two times and so on. So here instead of sending W uh, seven times, B four times, again W two times and this W again uh, five times, we can encode this uh, data sequence uh, using uh, run length encoding. Now as, uh, as we can see that uh, W appears seven times, so here we can encode this as seven W. Okay, and this B appears 4 times, so it's 4B. Again, this W appears 2 times, so it's 2W, 1B, 5W, 7B and 1W. Now, this is your, uh, this is our uh, encoded data using RLE encode, uh, compression technique. Now, at the, uh, at the receiver's uh, side, we can easily decode this, uh, uh, this uh, data sequence. Like uh, 7W, it means that W uh, should be 7 times. 4B means uh, B should be 4 times. Like this, we can uh, easily decode uh, this uh, data sequence. And uh, see, uh, when we are uh, decoding the data sequence, uh, if it appears uh, same as the uh, transmitted signal, if it matches 100% with the transmitted signal, it means that the, the, no no losses uh, happens or there are no losses in the data sequence. So therefore it is called as lossless compression technique and uh, this RLE is one of the lossless uh, data compression technique. Let us take a second example, encode the following bit stream using RLE. Now. <coughs> As we can see, it's a runs of uh, ones and zeros, and it's a, a big data stream is there. Now, instead of uh, sending these ones and zeros so many times, we can encode this uh, data or this bit stream using RLE compression technique. Like uh, this uh, one appears five times, uh, this zero appears seven times, again this one appears ten times, and so on. So. Uh, uh, this one appears four, four, five times instead of four. So here one colon five. It should be five. See uh, this uh, zero appears seven times. So it's uh, zero colon seven. Again this one appears ten times. So one colon ten and so on. Now the resulting byte. Resulting bytes we can uh, represent uh, like in binary representation. Now here we can we can't send such type of data. So again we have to represent this data into binary. So how to represent it? Now here we have to uh, remember or keep it in mind that the this first bit should uh, be as it is. And the second uh, bit we have to represent it in binary uh, in the form of ones and zeros. So 4 uh, has been represented like 0, 1, 0, 0. And this 0 is as it is and this 7 represented as 0, 1, 1, 1. Again this 1 as it is and 10 represented as 1, 0, 0, 1. This 0 is as it is and 2 represented as 0, 0, 1, 0. Here 1, 0 is needed. One more 0 is needed here. Uh, because here we are uh, uniformly taken 4-bit uh, data. So again 1 colon 6 is 1 as it is and 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. Again 0 colon 13, 
zero as it is and thirteen is one one zero one and the last is one colon nine one as it is and nine is one zero zero one. So this is the encoded uh, bit stream. Now here we uh, uh, we can see see this is a very long bit stream and using RNN technique we have. Uh, encoded this uh, long bit stream in a short bit stream.